The World Bank recently held a contest for short documentary films on the social dimensions of climate change. Many argue that climate change may be the defining social justice issue of this age. Rich countries are mainly responsible for climate change, but poor people in poor countries bear the brunt of its impact. The goal of the contest was to inspire people around the globe to express how climate change is shaping their lives and their livelihoods. The contest included a Young Voices of Climate Change Award, and the winners were Casey Beck and Austin Blair for their film titled The Rising Tide, Kiribati. The film shows the climate crisis in Kiribati, a nation in the Central Pacific. Many of the islands that make up the country may become unlivable within the next 50 years, as their landscapes are slowly eroded by climate change. Every visitor who comes to an outer island in Kiribati is privileged to get a tour of the local land. During my tour of Korea Island, I couldn't help but feel slightly sad, knowing this island, like the country of Kiribati, may become unlivable within 50 years. Kiribati, a nation of 33 coral atolls and 107,000 people, is grappling with an entirely new set of questions. You think caught up with Casey Beck and Austin Blair to chat with them about their film. The film is basically about how this way of life, which is over 2,000 years old, is being eradicated by climate forces. Um, sea level rise is one of the most sensational, you know, these islands literally are disappearing, but long before that, there are problems. It, the pattern of rainfall has changed and there's not enough water, and the salt water is infiltrating the freshwater lens, which is the main source of fresh water for the, for the islanders.